Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone involved in digital printing, understanding the differences between RGB and CMYK color models. We'll explain what they are, how they work, and why it matters for your projects. Let's get started. First, let's break down RGB. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, and it's the color model used for digital screens. RGB is an additive color model, which means it creates colors by adding light. The more light you add, the closer you get to white. Here's a simple demonstration. When we mix red, green, and blue light at full intensity, we get white. When all are at zero intensity, we get black. This model is perfect for devices that emit light. Take a look at these digital image. Notice how vibrant and bright the colors appear. That's the power of RGB. Next, let's talk about CMYK. CMYK stands for Scion, Magenta, Yellow, and Key, Black. This color model is used for printing. CMYK is a subtractive color model. It works by subtracting light from white. In practical terms, when you combine all the colors in CMYK, you get a dark brown or black, hence the need for a separate black ink. Here's a look at some printed materials. You can see how the colors are built up in layers of ink, creating the final image. Now, let's compare RGB and CMYK directly. On the left, we have an image in RGB, and on the right, the same image in CMYK. Notice the difference in color vibrancy. RGB colors tend to be brighter and more vivid because they are created with light, whereas CMYK colors can sometimes appear muted since they are created with ink. Here are more side-by-side -side comparisons. See how certain shades, like neon colors, are more vibrant in RGB but look different when in CMYK. So when should you use RGB and when should you use CMYK? It all depends on the final medium. Use RGB for anything that will be displayed on a screen. This includes web design, digital art, and any digital media. Use CMYK for printed materials like magazines, posters, and business cards. Always convert your design to CMYK before sending it to print to ensure color accuracy. Let's look at a practical example. Here's a design created in RGB. Now we'll convert it to CMYK. You might notice some color shift or become less vibrant. This is why it's crucial to check your designs in CMYK before printing. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you understand the differences between RGB and CMYK and when to use each one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips on digital design, printing, and free design resources. See you next time.